right, so as promised, the processing has completed for both Luma AI, Polycam, and Reality Capture. So let's just check those out. So it looks like the Gaussian splat was able to pick up the uh, some of the slimmer members right around the cross. Just another one of those benefits of Gaussian splatting. The detail is amazing. I'm actually very happy with that. Even picked up a little bit of the telephone wires, which is, I'm actually very surprised by that. Oh wow, it even picked up the, uh, the volleyball net to some degree. That was completely missed on all of the other photogrammetry processors. But yeah, overall, uh, very happy with how this came out, at least as far as Gaussian splatting goes. I know the detail kind of diminishes as we zoom in, but overall, still pretty good. And it picked up on a lot of things that uh, the photogrammetry couldn't stitch together. A lot of these more slender members like... Uh, um, like these little stanchions here and the umbrellas and even some of the tables. It also does much better with glass and reflective surfaces. All right, let's see how it stacks up against the polycam Gaussian. Something about Luma just looks more lifelike. Not sure what is different in their processing, but I don't think that Polycam has quite got their uh, their Gaussian splat dialed in yet. Was able to pick up the slender members here, and there's less distortion on Zoom. Which is interesting. I'm not sure what that's a function of, but it doesn't uh, doesn't pixelate the same way when you zoom in as it does with uh, with Luma. When you pop out with Luma, it's got a more lifelike view to it. But as you zoom in, it kind of does that uh, that weird pixelation where it just kind of turns into a phantom nothing. even particularly with the bushes over here. You can kind of see the difference. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. No. Lost out on um, a lot of the texture detail on the ridges on the roof as well. And now for the better photogrammetry, we've got the reality capture. So you can still see all of the 
different image points. Just for example, this one. So I'm going to turn those off just to get a better view. Yep, photogrammetry as always does not do well with the glass. I am surprised it was able to pick this item up though, considering how slender it is. Slender and reflective. And we managed to get one arm of the cross, but missed the other. The detail on uh, reality capture is impressive. Definitely still has its flaws as do all platforms, but I'm always exceedingly impressed with the detail you can get on reality capture. At least as far as photogrammetry platforms go. Oh yeah, well, let me know what you think of the, uh, the different processing models or the different processing platforms and different models in each of those. I'll do some more like this if uh, I get some response back in relation to this type of content. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, maybe also if you've used different uh, photogrammetry or Gaussian splatter um, neural radiance field platform that, uh, that works better, uh, let me know in the comments.